What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where I just talked to Jason's girlfriend outside, and she told me that she listens to these podcasts, and if I talk shit about her today, she's going to slit my throat. So I'm going to keep it super positive today. Check out Trisha Paytas' channel on YouTube. Yeah. And Make we'll sure all... Go have... buy all her merch. She's the greatest woman ever. And Jason is not sleeping with tons of other women. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please. <laughs> all right. Roll intro music. What's up, guys? It's back. Uh, it's back. David and Jason. I am 21 years old. Jason is 44, approaching 45. In May 23rd, I'll be 45. I don't know what you have planned for me. Um, but it should be a good one. Might be, might be my last year on Earth. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, guys, today we have three different ads for you today. Because you never, <laughs> never turned down free money, right? No, I've never turned down. We're well, trying, to, trying to think if I have. No. Are, you, are you asking me a question or are you reading? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay. Well, if you shop online without the best coupons, you've already paid too much. Fortunately, there's a free browser extension called Honey that automatically finds the best coupons on the web, so you always get the best prices on everything. In two clicks, add Honey to any browser for free. Then shop like you normally do. At checkout, Honey will automatically apply the best coupon to get you the biggest discount. It's pretty straightforward, guys. It finds coupons for whatever you're shopping for. Mm-hmm. People are saving millions of dollars. When Honey's got your back, you'll never overpay for anything ever again. Trisha and I we're looking for a swing and sure enough $20 off it's free it takes just seconds to install and we'll save you tons of money add honey to your browser for free right now at joinhoney.com slash views that's joinhoney.com slash views um someone tweeted at us the other day and they're like you talked about david's first girlfriend three podcasts already fuck it talk about something new so we're gonna try to be a little bit more aware of what we've been talking about um, and that's why I want to tell you guys about my DACA situation. <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be a little bit more open. Um, first of all, Jason, how are you? How is everything? You seem stressed out. I am just so stressed. I've got so many YouTubers in my life. How's everything Strong going? Strong personalities. You're making a lot more money. I'm making a lot more money. I'm doing good. I'm yeah. in bad health. I need to work out more. I'm bad jealous health. of how much you've been working out. Yeah, guys, I don't know if you've been keeping up with um, everything in my life. Do you post pictures of you running on no, like Snapchat? I don't. You don't do anything like that. No, I don't. Casey does it. This is where I brag about it. Oh, you this brag is it. it. Yeah, I've been, I've been 35 days in a row. 35 days? Today is my 36th day in a row of running every day. It's amazing. Did you already run? Um, no, I run tonight. I'll, I'll run at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I just bought a treadmill. I put You're it in the my. the flu. Why are you running? Well, because I got to sweat it off. I bought a treadmill. It's sitting in the middle of my living room. How is it? Expensive? It was a thousand bucks. That's but, expensive. But it is. It is. I think so. Okay. Yeah. That's no, a good. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I feel, I feel like it's a good price for like not having to like drive to the gym anymore. Oh, so worth it. Even though the same day I ordered my treadmill, I bought a gym membership, which is pretty fucking stupid. No, um, why? That's good to have both. You don't want to just be on that treadmill every day. You maybe. need both. I don't know. It, now, the you, of- you know when you run outside, it's different than on a treadmill, right? It's not, not as much of a workout. What? Yeah. Wait. Oh, without question. You Wait. get a much better workout running outside because you're really moving your oh, body and your oh, muscles. Oh, I thought you were saying a treadmill is a better workout. I'm like, no. there's no fucking way. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, no, I knew that. You I knew, knew that, that. Yeah. But, but I, like, I like the whole treadmill thing. Did you, see, uh, did you see this dog? There was a dog that died on United Airlines today. Oh, my God. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. That's two for United Airlines. First of all, let, 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 let's dig deep into this. Let's because do I it. saw it, and the title of the article is Puppy Died on United Airlines right after his owner was told to store him in the overhead compartment. Yeah. So basically, during takeoff, they were like, we got to put the puppy away. Maybe, maybe the flight attendants didn't see that it was a puppy. Maybe they just thought it was a bag. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But they put the bag in the overhead compartment, and then, it's, and then it fucking sat there the entire fucking flight. Like, come on. You cannot blame that on just United Airlines. Well, there uh, were people sitting in the cockpit. They heard it barking. The owners, like, wh- what? Like, I'm so confused. Like, I, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? So they're trying to blame it on United, but you're saying the fault's on the owner. I, th- I think the fault is equally on both people. You think if I took your dog, if I took your dog, whoa, you're, I'm touching his muscle right now. You're really fucking tight. That's nice. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Brady. <laughs> um, if I took your dog... TB12. If I took your to- a dog and I took him like overseas and you're like, just please take care of my baby. Yeah. And then I call you and I'm like, dude, they made me put it in the overhead compartment. 
Um, yeah. I didn't want to say anything mid-flight. I so why didn't you fucking take it down from the compartment? Yeah, exactly. That's what I would say. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I didn't read the rest of the story or something. But I, I was very confused about it. I can't believe people own dogs at all because I people are such idiots and they, I've seen them in cars. I saw one time when I was in L.A. I saw a dog. He was inside a, a hot car. Smoking a pipe. He, he was smoking a pipe. He was smoking weed. And dogs shouldn't smoke weed. I know it, this story. This I, dog got so high. Yeah. And he... And then he drove. He drove away. Fucking And asshole. I was in the car. And there was a bag of money in the back. <laughs> yeah. Um, nine police cars chasing us. I was on the news. And the dog was so high. Yeah. And he was driving? And he was what driving. What kind of a dog was it? It was a Shih Tzu. And he was driving in the fucking car? Yeah. It was just... I don't know how he was reaching the pedals. He had some contraption where... His nose, he could breathe, and that would work. Was it an automatic better. car or manual? It was stick. He was driving stick. It was a stick shift. And um, how the fuck did this dog know how to drive stick shift? I I don't I blacked out, but I, I jumped out around fifty five miles an hour on the ten. <laughs> they got me. I did nine to ten years for it. I, I was totally innocent. I actually wrote a book about it. <laughs> it's called Tuesdays with Maury. And, Why Maury? Uh huh. Oh. That was the name of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you meet this dog? I told you he was high. He was in. He was locked in a car. And then how'd you get in the car? I thought you knew this story. You sounded like you knew it. You started I, to take the story over. I, I the knew, dog got high. You never no, heard this. I knew a different. I knew a different version of the story. How oh. did you meet the dog? I, I was just walking by again. I told you I'm innocent. Oh, and you tried to help him, mm-hmm. but you just ended up getting locked in the car with him. Yeah, and then he was. He was I didn't know he was wanted by the police. I had no idea. And he's just so blazed. Fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know when you hotbox with a Shih Tzu. It's, <laughs> Get real high. Yeah, it's game over from there. It wasn't, well, yeah. And I, you know, I want to say, I say, we didn't buy a sex wing. I don't know why I said that earlier. You didn't buy what? No, we didn't buy a sex wing. You never bought a sex wing? No. Are no. you and your girlfriend, are you guys kinky or is that just her? Um, it, 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 she's, not, she's not that kinky. No? No. She's not, she's she's not that kinky. She's like, like she just like sex all the time. Yeah, okay, okay. Like five times a day. But have you guys, have you guys, we were talking about this, have you ever role played? Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Give me an example of a role play. Um, I got some focaccia the what, other day. What's focaccia? It's a roll. Get it? Oh, forget it. Um, I uh, do. I have a role play. Um, you started telling me a story about some pies the other day, but you never finished it. Well, what's like an example of a role play you do? And there were pies involved. Oh yeah, you know, you just come in and you just like, you know, like, hey, uh, I, 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 I came to take out the trash. Okay. Like that, and you knock on the door. And then, you know, you just role play. I don't know. I, you know, there's, there's a lot of... Um, I, know, I, wanna, I know what role playing is, Jason. You know, I want to know what you... Well, you know, girl, younger girls like a, a, a daddy fetish. Yeah, you would know. That's, well, yeah. I mean, why else would you be with an old guy like me? Oh, so, she's, so she pretends that you're her dad? Well, no, like, you know, like... Yeah, no, not her dad, but, you know, like... Her daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not her dad. Not That's in, fucking gross. Yeah, it is gross. <laughs> I mean, what do you say? I say... Uh, You're grounded? <laughs> Boy, this you? podcast might be our worst so far. Well, <laughs> thank you to Honey for sponsoring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying I, I, I find that really... Well, what, you, what did you role play? I don't role play. No, you don't role play. I, I, don't can't, I would sex. never. I would never be able to keep that serious. Like I can't. I can't be a fucking character and have sex. It's just that's not my thing. I mean, no. It, I'll just start laughing. It's, I can't even act because I just start laughing because I'm. I think it's funny being someone else. Right. Yeah. I think se- you know, sex is enough for me. I, I, I'm not that into. Speaking of sex and role playing. Yeah. Teacher from my hometown. Oh my god! I can't believe you're going to bring this up. No, I'm going to bring it this up. This is deadly. I'm not going to fucking. I'm. Not, I'm just going to bring it up. She. Um. She had sex. A teacher that, that graduated from my high school no way. just got caught having sex with a bunch of kids that were still in high school. Assistant soccer coach. Assistant soccer coach. This Vernon Hills, the, just, the legend keeps growing from your hometown. Fucking, yeah, just villains and heroes nope. popping out of that school. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wonder you always want to keep going back there. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. For those All the crazy, older chicks are, will get you off. For those crazy fucking stories. Yeah, but she's... um. It came out, and uh, at first it was like two 17-year-old boys, and then mm. it was like, from what I heard, and now it's like, there's like seven different guys. Yeah, 12 different occasions, I read. Uh, 12 different occasions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking nuts. Seven kids. She's just having sex like a monster, and I was, I was talking to another one of my teachers, and she says she may even go to jail for like more than 40 years. 40 fucking years. That's what they said. A million dollars bail. A million dollar bail, yeah. which I just found out what bail is the other day, by the way. Yeah. Uh, bail is... I always thought when you pay bail, she's on million dollar bail right now. So if she goes and she gives him a million dollars, she's not like 
guilt-free. Like, she can't just walk the streets. No. She just gets to go home until she's sentenced to jail. Until trial, yeah. Which is fucking nuts. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's good money for the state. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I didn't know that that was a thing. I thought when you pay bail, you're innocent and you can fucking go. No. I thought that's no, not what it was. Then, I, then, you know, then you could just buy your way out of stuff if you well, could. Well, I thought, I thought they only gave you bail when it wasn't like you didn't murder anybody or anything. My, you know what my biggest fear is? I, I, and I don't want to say it because I don't want to foreshadow anything, but like killing someone on accident, like in a car or some fucking freak accident. Yeah. It's my big, and, and spending and going to jail for fucking 20, 30 years. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's mine is forgetting to monetize my video. It's forgetting to monetize your YouTube video. <laughs> biggest fear. Man. Yeah, those are pretty similar, bro. <laughs> um, no, I'm just scared of like, like if I if I kill someone on accident, right? No matter how I do it, I don't please don't send me to jail. Like I don't I, send you to jail. Yeah, like I wouldn't I'm, be my choice, but I know <laughs> it wouldn't be my choice. Like that's like I'm so terrified of that. That don't worry. Even if I'm in fucking Aruba, I'm gonna be living with it for the rest of my life. Do you know what I mean? Like be living in hell. Like a lot of people wouldn't though. A lot of people be just forget about it. It would fucking kill me, bro. You think? Uh, Yes. And like, and then to send me to jail for thirty years on top. I feel like I'm fucking. You know what I feel like? I feel like I just came from the future, and I'm like making this plea because I accidentally killed someone in the future. Please, man, if it ever fucking happens, <laughs> you got my back, right, Jason? <laughs> why, why do you think you're going to kill somebody? I don't know. You're, you're I don't. Anybody. I don't. But I'm just like I always think about it. It's so easy to kill someone on accident. I used to have a friend who used to carry around a cyanide pill in case it's in case he ever went to jail so he could kill himself. Bullshit. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. A cyanide pill. Yeah. That he'd pop in his mouth and he'd choke on and he'd die. Yeah. Because he had such a fear of going to jail. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. How did this, I explain this to me? He's doing great. Yeah. He never went to jail. He never went to jail. I don't know if he still carries it. I've talked to him a long time. Uh, like you're saying, if he gets pulled over, he, yeah, he like, pops it? Or he, he, he was, kills- was kind of like you in that he like thought something bad was going to happen to him. Yeah. You know, that, well, that something. Well, listen, if I get ever get into a car accident and I'm laying there and my you want leg. Want me to kill you? Yeah. Seriously? 100%, and my leg is like off my body and I just killed. Two people in the other car. I would pop that pill in a second. No. Fuck. Yes, dude. Yeah, but, but I have it wasn't... so much. Listen, I have also I also have so much faith in the afterlife that I'm like, fuck yeah. You like, do? Yes. You and Trisha, man. It's not even like I'm not even like religious. I'm just like fuck. Like it'll fucking figure itself out. You know what I mean? Did even you? if it's nothing, it's still something. Does that make sense? I don't know. Nothing's I, not something. You don't know that. Black is black. Yeah. Black don't crack, bro. <laughs> so it's gonna be fucking lit. Did you hear about this senator that got in trouble, Huggy Bear? No, Who's he's Huggy this, Bear. This guy is like a he's like a state rep, and he um, he was his nickname was Huggy Bear, and he was hugging people all the time. Yeah, for like thirty years, and he got in trouble just he, for wait, hugging he people. Was hugging people? Yeah, that was his thing. Like he'd come up and he'd like hug you, and now he got in trouble. He had to apologize, and he can't hug anyone anymore. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no, because he would hug people. <laughs> yes. Would he randomly hug them, or would he like? No, he would when he would meet him. That was his thing. He, oh, he like was like, "I'm he, Huggy Bear. I, I hug. I hug people. I'm a hug, uh, I'm a hugger." Like when you meet someone and they go, "I'm a hugger." Yeah. Come here. Oh, can't yeah. Fucking hug what do you think about that? I mean, poor dude. I think it. I think it's probably kind of good because when I grew up, there was a lot of like touching and stuff from from men. Yeah, I guess that is kind not of, even sexual, but that's kind of weird. I guess if I put myself in the situation, it'd be weird. Yeah, you probably what just don't you, need what it. What were you like in elementary school, bro? Me, I, I, I was dude, fat. Guys, I, I've just noticed. I've said bro and lit like twenty times during this vlog so far. Drink every time David says bro. Please don't drink, but go or lit. I was I was fat. What were you like in elementary school? Yeah, I don't know, man. I remember I was on the bus. Uh, when did you find out that you had to have sex to make babies? Um, they gave me a pamphlet at school. Are you serious? Yeah, I was probably like eight. Oh no, no, I was probably like ten. Yeah. Yeah, how about you? There's a brochure. I was coming on. I was coming. I was coming on to. <laughs> um, no, I was coming home. I was on the bus. And uh, I don't know if we've already talked about this on the podcast, but who knows? I was on the bus, and this girl goes, and this girl goes, uh, I, I, maybe I said I had a crush on someone, and we were like 11 years old. And she goes, Oh, you want to have sex with her and have babies? And I go, and I go, N- what? What does that? What does that mean? <laughs> the fuck are you saying? Like, why are you saying two different things? And she's like, "You have sex with her, babies." I'm like, um, "No, like I'd have kids with her, yeah, because I love her." 
I'm not gonna have sex with her. It's disgusting. <laughs> and and then she's like, she's like, you have to have sex to have kids. I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> you guys listen to this bitch? <laughs> she must be smoking crack. You okay. hearing this shit? And then I went and then I went home and my and my grandma was. I fucking remember this like. Like it was yesterday. My grandma was sitting at the computer, and my mom was standing right next to her. And I go, "Do you have to have? Do you have to have sex to have babies?" And my grandma just turns around with like the biggest smile on her face. She's like, "Like I was like her first grandson, and like I could tell she's just been waiting for this." She's like, "Ah, this is it." <laughs> and then they explained to me, and I was like, "That's so fucking gross." And yeah, that was. And that was it. Yeah, that was they it. La- they must have been laughing yeah, the whole they time. Was, they thought it was so funny. Because I'm going to interrupt the story about me finding out what sex is um, by, by, by an ad, but you better stay tuned because right after this ad, I have a story about what happened this weekend. Yeah. And literally this weekend. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> St- stay, stay for the story. Get it weekend? Yeah, whatever. Hiring. Every business needs great people and a better way to find them. Something better than posting your job online and just praying for the right people to see it. ZipRecruiter knew there was a smarter way, so they built a platform that finds the right job candidates for Zip you. ZipRecruiter! ZipRecruiter Zip Recruiter learns what you're looking for, identifies people with the right experience, and invites them to apply to your job. In fact, 80% of employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidates are out there. ZipRecruiter is how you find them. Mm-hmm. Right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free! Zip, just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Nash. Dobrik works, too. I got an email today. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, I know. It works. If you do, it, Nash still works, but if you do ZipRecruiter.com slash Dobrik, and guys, some of you go check that out. Make sure it works for us. Fuck yeah. But your, your name's in there now. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Dobrik. Yes. This is a fucking full circle. We can end the podcast now. Yeah. It's, it's over. Um, ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Thank you, ZipRecruiter, for fucking hooking it up. Finally. Listening to a dude out here being very desperate. Okay, this weekend. Okay, so you went to a thing Sunday night. Let me let me break it down. Go. So we went to um, we went to this uh, restaurant called the Lilas. Mm. It's not a restaurant. It's kind of like a jazz bar. I've heard so much about it from Todd that Leo DiCaprio goes there. Yeah, it's like it's a so big, it's hip. like a celebrity hotspot. Okay. Like we were there. So so we we showed up. I saw a celebrity there. Who'd you see? David Dobrik. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I saw Gigi Gorgeous there. You said Gigi Gorgeous? Yeah. We, um, we talked to her. So we, we showed up. We, we got to this place. It's like a nice hip bar. Um, and I mean, fucking celebrities out the wazoo, bro. Really? Yeah. I didn't see any. You left. Well, who came in? They walked in like fucking crazy, man. Really? It was Migos. Migos came Migos, in? Migos, uh, Kendall Jenner, Jaden Smith. Um, uh, Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. He's just sitting in the, in the photo booth doing his photo booth thing. Um, fuck. Uh, like all of Migos? Uh, two of them. Two of them? And then Halsey. Halsey was there. Haley Baldwin was oh, there. Oh, yeah, I heard a really funny thing. I saw a woman yelling at a paparazzi out front. And, she, and the, the only sound that I heard was, she goes, she goes, you push me and Halsey saw it. You push me and Halsey saw it. That's what she kept saying. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I don't paparazzi, even know what Halsey looks paparazzi like. Paparazzi was outside. It was, it was insane. I mean... There was so, I can't even list the celebrities that I I can't think of all of them right now. Yeah, I was there. It wasn't that much fun. It, it sounds it's, like it's oh, super it's not, fun. Oh, it's not fun. It was it's fun. not it was, fun at all. I was begging to go home, but the, everybody wanted to stay. Um, couldn't uh, sit. Couldn't get a drink. L- l- let me explain to you like what it is. But the it, vibe is nice. It's cool to be in a room with all these powerful people that have all this money and have all this success. But at the same time, like it gives me the biggest urge to go fucking home and work. Like, right. like, there's nothing more motivating than being around all these people that have made so much money, and like, you're mm-hmm. just like, these, these guys are out partying. Like, this is my time to fucking go and do something else. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just like, and like, that's what I was trying to tell, to, like, to Todd and Scott. And I'm like, guys, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go, like, make a vlog. Let's fucking let's do stuff that can, like, you yeah. know, that where where we can be in this position one day. But anyway. They so, had a great, great uh, dancer. Did you see the, the uh, go-go dancer they had? No. You don't look at that kind of thing. Um, anyway, so the, the, the weekend had a table. The weekend, uh-huh. the singer, had a table right next to us. Uh-huh. And um, he walks up to us. He walks up to Scott. Did you hear? Have you heard the story? Yeah, sort of. Not, not, a good, not the good version. Go. It's really short. I heard a little, pause, little version. He walks, up to the, uh, he walks up to Scott, our friend, uh, and he puts his hand on his shoulder. And he goes... I want your table, so I'm going to take it. That's what he fucking says to Scott. He said that? He said, I want your table, so I'm going to take it. How big is the weekend? 
The week, like how popular? No, is how he? tall is he? He's is he like an imposing guy. He's shorter than Scott. He's shorter than yeah, Scott. He's, he's a small guy. Does he look tough? No, no. He just he knows who he is. He's the weekend. He he just dated Selena Gomez. You know he's he's a big star. I know who he is. And Scott can recognize him because he's kind of difficult to recognize because you know he's he just looks like a chubby kid. Um, right. I hope he's listening to this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, he shaved his crazy hair that he had. Um, and Scott, I think Scott goes fuck off. Really? Yeah. Like, like, who are you? Like, who? Like, who, what the fuck is going? Because Scott didn't know who he was. Hey. And the weekend leaves, and um, and five minutes later, um, the people that are working at the bar or at the club come over to us and they're like, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move your table over one one side this way. What a fucking douche! <laughs> fuck the weekend. <laughs> well, fuck the weekend. I don't like that at all. Um, I'm gonna take your table. Fuck you. I mean... God damn it. Is it really that important that you need to be seen there with Kendall Jenner? It's... I fucking do not like that shit at all. Fuck okay. him. Okay. Done with him. I'm no longer listening to Starboy. Listen. Because <laughs> you listen to it every day. I did listen to it last week. It's really good. <laughs> it's a great song, yeah. Um, now, I... Okay. Okay, and that happened. And yeah, then and I'm, then what happened? I'm, well, nothing, nothing. I, I was no. Just, what, what what was the what he the weekend left, and then what happened? And the, and then I was I was standing right next to the weekend and his friend, and I go, so that so that's what money does. Oh yeah. And and the weekend and his friend are both staring at me, and and his friend goes, that's what money does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um and yeah, <laughs> it's fucking. It's you know what it is. It's like it's it's a room full of egos. Like all of it, including yeah. us. We all had a huge, everyone has a huge ego in that room. And it's just, it, it was just a power play. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter because as douchey as it was, and I would never do that if I was in his shoes, it's funny. And I, 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 I hate saying it. Your name is The Weeknd. I, listen, what a terrible name. I hate saying it. The Weeknd. I hate saying it, but I kind of, I've always. Saturday and Lazy Sunday. I've I mean, always found so- such like. I was. I'm always so interested by shit like this. No, it's a great story, like but I just don't like it that he that he did yes, that. It, All he had to do was just go to the major d and be like, "Hey, can I get a table?" He didn't have to fucking go up to Scott and say anything. Yeah, but uh, me and uh, me and you would never fucking you do know, douches like that. But it's just it's a short man's complex, is what it is. I don't He's know. He's short. I don't know. So we had to go do it. I understand that he was being a douchebag, but at the same time, there's part of me that's like, well, fucking. He's the weekend, and everyone is sucking his nuts here, and he's probably paying the most for all these tables, so he can fucking do whatever he pleases. Ah, uh, I'm know. gonna have to go against you on this one, David. It's, I'm no longer gonna do the podcast. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna end it over this weekend story. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I thought, I thought that was really fun. It's a good story. Yeah. Then what happened? Nothing. Then, 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 uh, then what happened after I left? And then did everyone get drunk or? Yeah, I mean they were, you know, they then were. Then you all chased there. some paparazzi, right? And then yeah, and then I waited outside. All my friends left, and I tried. I stayed out by myself, and I I joined the paparazzi and taking pictures of people. But no one really came out that I knew other than Jamie Fox, and yeah, and you um, got him. Yeah, and you got some other guy, right? No, I didn't really. I got Chloe Kardashian's like ex boyfriend, or, or sorry, Chloe Kardashian's current boyfriend, the one she's married to, or some shit. But I don't. I didn't really know him, so I didn't know. Could you say. see yourself having a good time there? Like, let's say. No, I couldn't. Let's I, say. Let's say you just like. I don't know, made a big movie. Yes. Your first movie. You yeah. can see yourself enjoying yourself there, getting if, drunk. If maybe. I made a big movie or if I was those guys who were just made a big song. They, were, they also all came. I think that, that happened to be the place for the after party for the iHeart Award or whatever. Uh-huh. So they all came there oh, like off the after party. That's why they were all there. Yeah. I was actually sitting in the... I have this guy who sends me texts about parties like uh-huh. all the time. He sends me all the parties uh-huh. for every day. And I was sitting at Delilah, and I got a text from him saying the I Heart After Party is happening at Delilah. So were I there. was like, "Oh fuck, I'm already here." And that's when they started showing up. Um, uh, no, but um, but yeah, I, if I if I if I saw myself like selling a big TV show to someone, or or you know like a big movie, making a big movie, or like writing a fucking hot song, yes, I could see myself there like one night. That was fucking, and with my friends, not with like. No, of course, I know. The, the yeah. thing about LA is it. You you said that thing about egos. It's like it, it all gets ruined by that, dude. It's fucking. Um, it it's, all gets ruined by that. Guys, the I, place is nice. There, you walk in. There's a guy singing um, Seven Nation Army. There's like a three piece jazz, like a jazz band. singer. What what's, what was so 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 weird about that place is like, and it's old timey in there. Everybody is checking them, like checking others. 
for who the bigger fucking dude is in the place. Yeah. Like, you walk around, and everybody looks at you. Like, I'll be sitting at my table, and Jamie Foxx will walk by, and we'll link eyes, because he's checking to see every individual in the building to see how they feel about him yeah. and to make sure that he's the biggest person in the house. Like, every, like even, even me, I'm doing, I'm checking around to see, like, who they're, you know, I'm checking to see, like, who Anybody I can compare you. myself to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just a fucking room full of hotheads. And that's why it's so funny to me. Just right. Like, you're, you're walking to the bar and you brush shoulders with someone. Like, like I, I was walking with Todd, and Todd hit somebody on the shoulders, and he, and Todd goes, "What the fuck?" And I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm like, "Todd, calm down. You're just like everybody fucking here." But it's just like a room full of fucking like hot hats. It's so interesting, and I, I, I don't know. I love it. I fucking love. I love the fucking a bunch of egos in a room. I think it's so fucking amazing to watch and so oh, I'm so, so I was so over it I was there I was it couldn't stand oh it sucked I wanted to fucking leave but it's just it's just such a explain that to people that like that like I feel like some kid who like listens to this show is like wow that sounds so cool there in LA but like we should explain too that like it's not fun when you're there no like, it, it sounds cool like wow David Dobrik was with The weekend. no it's cool but it's not it's cool. No, it totally it's just is not cool. fun. Like it would have been way more fun to be here. It's cool. It's not fun, but it's like a cool thing to just like talk about. Like, I was there's so, nothing cool about it. Like, I was so bummed at myself because I'd heard Todd talk about Delilah for so many months, and I was all excited. And then I got there, and I was like, "Oh right, it's a fucking shit show." Yeah, of course t- it is. the first day Todd went there it was like Selena Gomez, DiCaprio, and like Justin Bieber. It was like, yeah, it's it's apparently it's always like a I hot think spot. Todd's worked his way up there too because he. He told me like he's like yeah now I get a table there when I go there like like I think when yeah. he first started going there he couldn't even get in yeah and now they know him that's that's impressive well you know what else is impressive though tell us adding to Squarespace for a free trial when you're ready to launch you can use the offer code I'm ready to launch views man. to save ten percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain guys Squarespace is a beautiful website creating tool you can turn your cool idea into a new website showcase your work blog or publish content sell products and services of all kinds yeah man promote your physical or online business announce an upcoming event for instance uh, David and I are getting married or special project and more <laughs> There's a whole bunch of shit that you can do using Squarespace. Mm-hmm. Squarespace does this by giving you beautiful templates created by world-class designers, ability to customize look and feel settings, products, and more with just a few clicks. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box. It's a new way to buy domains and choose from over 200 extensions. It's free and secure hosting and nothing to patch your upgrade ever. 24-7 award-winning customer service. Yeah, make it yourself. Easily create a website by yourself. Make it stand out. Stand out with a beautiful website. Ready to start your new business? Make it stand out. Get started with Squarespace. You can use the offer code VIEWS to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, guys, that's the final ad for today's show. And you know what that <laughs> means. Jason and I are going to go buy a new fucking flat screen and party. <laughs> All right, this is called David's Advice Corner. Yeah, so this is uh, where I give advice, and Jason's going to read something to me that I haven't heard, but I'm going to give advice on it because I'm fucking very intelligent. Somebody tweeted this. This is a super long story. Basically, me and my best friend hooked up with our other best friend's ex, and I don't know what I should do, if anything, or if it's fair for them to not be friends anymore. Okay, I'm going to go into the story. It's really long. Here we go. So basically, one of my best friends, let's call her A, had her first, her, had her first major boyfriend this year. They dated for six months, and it was A's first kiss and other stuff, but I mean dot, dot, dot. And A loved him, but they broke up, and it was really bad, and he wasn't who A thought he was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> While they were dating, one of my other friends, let's call her B, was flirting with A's boyfriend so much that A had to confront B and her boyfriend about it, even though her boyfriend was clueless. A and B also had problems before, and it was a kind of a toxic friendship. Then, two weeks after A and her boyfriend broke up, C, <laughs> yes, D, so C started eating B out. <laughs> B was hanging out with him at her house, and they hooked up. A B, did, wait, B was, hang, oh, B was hanging out with him at B's house. A and B had some problems before, and it was kind of a toxic friendship. Then two weeks after A and her boyfriend broke up, B was hanging out with him at her house, and they hooked up. A didn't find out until a month later, and B had lied to A about it. Now A and B aren't friends, and A doesn't want to even try to mend things, even though B is really upset and sorry about it. Is that fair? Should A give her a chance? No pun intended. (laughs) Should I, as both their best friends, get in the middle 
of stay out of it, get in the get in the middle or stay out. Of okay, it. I'm, this is gonna be a quick answer. Yes, you should get in the middle of it and just, and just fix it. Yeah, what the fuck? Get in the middle of it. Yeah, she's the friend. If you were having problems with Scott, I'd be like, stop being a bitch. Let's go talk to Scott. If I slept with Scott's girlfriend, no, not like I don't. If wa- Scott slept with my girlfriend. I don't. I don't want to get into details. I'm just saying. I would. I would get in the middle of it. They're not. No. You just love to get in there. With no. Your no camera. one cheated on anybody. No one's vlogging in this. So take that out of the equation. Oh fuck it. Stay out of it. <laughs> no, no. No. I mean, no one's. No one cheated on anybody. So it's just like it's people just feelings. People's feelings getting hurt. That's it. No one's like breaking any rules of like, of, of cheating and stuff. That's fine. Listen. This is what I'm gonna say. Um, get in the middle of it and fucking do what you gotta do. But I actually have a funny story that goes along with this. Okay, I had a friend. Um, she um, she had a boyfriend for quite a while, and she, uh, and her best friend. And after she broke up with her boyfriend, her best friend hooked up with the boy that she was dating, just like this situation. Okay, and her best friend denied it, denied it, denied it um, that that they ever hooked up. Like to this day, denied it. Oh wow! And the other day, two weeks ago. Um, both the best friend and the girl were in the car together with us, with me and Dom, and and uh, Dom Dom goes to the uh, and I bring up the boy. I bring up the boy that they both had a fling with, and I go, yeah. So how's how's James? And Dom goes, ah, oh, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hooked up with her that one. <laughs> uh, you you hooked up with him that one day, <laughs> and it got really awkward because then everybody found out that the best friend. Hooked up with her ex boyfriend, and we had to we had to have him leave the car to figure it out because it was really awkward. You had to have Dom leave the car. No, everybody had to leave the car. I fucking yelled at Dom because it was so uncomfortable, and uh, basically, but it was Dom this, didn't do anything wrong. It was the same situation. He just brought up something he shouldn't have brought up. Um, but yeah, but he didn't know. Yeah, but it was it was just the same situation. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know how the rules are. I don't think you should. You should. Okay, let me go back to it. I don't think you should date like if. If um if Jason if you broke up with Trisha, I don't think it's right for anybody to date Trisha in our friend group. I I it's just, it's just kind of code. Yeah, You're probably I agree gonna, with that. Oh, I would you ne- agree? I would never ever 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 date. I I I would never ever date one of my friends good exes. friends exes. Never. It's just not, not it's not the right thing to do, right? No. It's, it's bro up. code. Don't do it. I'm surprised you're fucking with that. Me? Yeah. Because you're usually not on like relationship codes. I, I, if 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 I if I was had had been with someone and then they wanted to date her, I might be open to letting them date her or not being okay with it, or giving yeah. them a blessing. But I would never do that. It's the same thing as like if you're eating a sandwich, I would never ask for a bite. Yeah, you would. No, I wouldn't. Really, I would never ask for a bite of your sandwich. Oh. I think it's gross. Yeah. I wouldn't want anyone to take a bite of my sandwich. Okay, that's fucking. That's a weird, you weird example. Weird? No, but I, I, I I'm totally. Honest. Yeah, you would. I'm totally on. Yeah, you've eaten my sandwich before. No, I have not ever taken no, a bite I'm, of your sandwich. Why I'm have I taken sa- a bite of your I'm sandwich? I'm on the same page. I think it's. I think it's rude to hook up. Why? Why? Why do you think for the people that are like, fuck that, you can date your friends, uh, ex uh, girlfriend. Why do you think it's rude? It's just lame. It's like carve your own road, dude. Yeah, and it's like weird because it's like, okay, so all this time when we were together, yeah. you were kind of into my <laughs> <Yes>. friends. <laughs> It's weird, right? Yeah, you were you were eyeing my girlfriend the whole time. Yeah, yeah, it is weird. I we have a good friend who I think is he might be capable of that. Really? Yes. I have this friend too. Oh yes. Who? I cannot say. Really? I have to tell you later. Holy shit! Yes, sir. The fucking gossip is real here. Yeah. Have you ever had a friend that's dated a friend that's dated a friend's ex? Um, I've had I've had people like ask me like, hey, is it cool if I? And I'm kind of like. I guess that was in my in my high school. There was like a friend group. They all dated each other. It was like that '70s show. Really? Like it was like yeah. The girl would get dumped. The next guy in that friend group would date her. What was that like? It was high school dating, so it wasn't as serious. But it was just like so not a lot of um, attractive women in your school or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's. <laughs> I feel like that's an art. I feel like I've never met anybody that goes to, or men. <laughs> I've, I've never met anybody at a school. That goes, yeah, we have the hottest chicks in our school. I've never met anybody say that. Oh, I have. Really? Yeah, Dover Sherburne had the hottest chicks. And, and, the, and the people at that school would admit that? Oh, yeah, they knew it. 
Oh really? They were like, we have the hottest chicks. I've never, I've never met that in my life. You it's never, like, you never like played sports at another town, and you get to the town, and you're like, Jesus, every girl in this yeah, no hot. shit. Yeah, but that's different. Why is that I'm different? I'm saying, a, like, it's it's like saying it's like someone coming from a hometown and being like, I have the best hometown. Everyone's always like, my hometown sucks. I want to get out of here. Like that's how it is. It's the same. Go thing. to go to like Laguna Beach High School. Yeah, and everyone's and just, everyone's just gorgeous. Really? Yeah. But dude, those kids. Like, they, like I bet, like when Adi kids, went to high school, all the girls were gorgeous. I know, but I'm saying, but yes, yes, I'm saying if I go there, I'm definitely gonna think, even if they have the ugliest. Oh, I people, see your point. Your point is you don't think. Yeah, like because you're, you're there, you're you don't used think to the people. Hot. You're right? used to it, yeah. And someone will go like, yeah, you have Sydney, you have Amber, and then someone goes, Sydney and Amber, they're not fucking hot, they're kooks. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all. That's about all the time we have for today's. Talk podcast. about the future of the views podcast. The future of the views. Where do you podcast, see it? It's looking pretty good. <laughs> we may be going on tour, which is still undecided. Yeah, and I'll be rapping this time. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I got a call the other day asking if um, if we should change the split that you have on your podcast. Who has that? Uh, my agents. If we should change the split? Yeah. To, to give you more money? No, to give you more. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I said no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, I, said, um, I said, let's wait till he asks. <laughs> I would love more money. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, we'll definitely talk about that. But we have (laughs) we have we have a live podcast coming up. Um, We don't know, but I think we're going to come out with a live podcast coming. We don't, we don't. But if because you won't, because this is what happens: the agents call, they put together like a really, really awesome tour, and and I'm and I need money, so I'm like, God, this sounds fantastic. And then David just sits silent on the phone, and he's just like. Yeah, I don't know, guys. <laughs> and it's like, it's the most, like, amazing setup where David can fly first class, like, hit New York, hit Boston. He's allowed to take his best friends with him. Yeah. He can take, he can basically take Scott and okay, Zane we'll do it. with we'll do him. It. We're doing it, we're doing it. A, a, I, no, nice hotel. Yes, we're, we're going to end up doing it. And I think the way it's going to happen is it, we're going to have a list of dates. So you're not going to see us promoting show by show. You're just going to be seeing us promote a Views tour. So it's going to be like, come see us on the Views tour, and it's going to be a list of 10 cities. That's the way I want to do it. Make sure you guys go follow us on Twitter. Buy our merch at fanjo.co backslash Dobrik. Um, go, 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 go. Um, it'll, be, it'll be a good time if it, if it happens, but we don't know. It's going to happen. Because yeah. last time, the way, the, the way that we went to Boston and New York was I told David that I wanted to... Um, bragged to my ex-wife how much money I, we were going to make. Yes. And then after I said that, he was like, okay, we can go. Yeah, so let's do it. Yeah. I'm down. We'll see you guys later. This has been a Views Podcast. My name is Jeff.